So I guess that's what everyone wants to know, you know, the Labor Day weather. Really? What's it going to be like this weekend? Wait, hold on. You're <laughs> telling me that people are interested in a holiday weekend I forecast? I think so. I think so. I guess that's where I come in. Then. But you said it was okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Okay. So it's better than bad. Better than bad. I right. would agree with you there, Alyssa, for sure. We are going to have a front that's sort of tracking towards us uh, by the time we get to the weekend. So I'm going to give you the forecast for those of you who may be thinking of leaving a day early. We'll start with Friday and then we'll go into Saturday. I do think Friday is a great day to be traveling uh, across the area and you will uh, likely be rain free. The further west you get, you know, you could be meeting up with that front. It's also going to be a little bit warmer as we uh, get towards Saturday. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Again, that's just sort of an early call on the forecast that there might be some tweaks to that as we go forward in time here over the next couple of days. As we take a look outside, bring it back home. We've got a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon. It is a gorgeous blue sunny day down at the shoreline. We just had these little puffy cumulus clouds and you, I love to be able to show our high resolution Kona 16 satellite here, the visible satellite during the daytime hours to really pick up on those clouds ever so nicely. But outside of that, again, a mainly sunny sky out there. We are tracking a, a series of fronts up across the Great Lakes right now, heading into portions of Canada over there, uh, just past the Great Lakes. And those fronts are eventually going to start to collapse down and will bring some strong storms with them. Fortunately, now remember yesterday, uh, once we were sort of wrapping up with yesterday's severe weather coverage, I did mention a chance, a smaller chance, but a chance nonetheless for severe weather on Wednesday. Fortunately, that chance has diminished even further. And right now we're really looking at the yellow area here and uh, for a lesser about the uh, darker greens just outside of it. But for the most part, this is sort of your bullseye right here. Ohio Valley, Pennsylvania, parts of the north mid-Atlantic over towards the Jersey Shore. We bring it back home. You can see we're not even in that level one threat anymore. Now we're looking the light green here indic uh, indicating non-severe thunderstorms, if any at all. Some of us might just see run-of-the-mill showers as that front comes by. So high pressure slides offshore tonight. Here comes that frontal boundary. And again, we, it really looks like the energy for the most part is going to miss our area. We're going to be watching those uh, storms really firing up down to our south and west. Then behind that, a big ridge of high pressure builds in. And this one's different because we've got a completely different air mass behind this front. And it is going to feel, you think back to when we had a big Canadian high pressure come in a couple of weeks ago and it felt like fall. It's going to feel like that again. Daytime highs only in the low 70s at the shoreline. You might not get out of the 60s and the humidity is going to be very low, but very comfortable days. Certainly after a day like tomorrow, where you are going to be seeing temperatures in the upper 80s and a very high level of humidity. And that does start to trend back over the holiday weekend again as the approach of that next front comes nearby and we'll get to that holiday forecast in a second here. Let's go to the tropics as I mentioned. And we really still are relatively quiet. The peak of hurricane season, September 10th and 11th, kind of uh, has jostled uh, between those days over the last 30 years. But uh, again, really, what is again supposed to be one of the most active years on record, we're only looking at one system with a 20% chance, this wave uh, right now, over the next seven days. So a very, very low threat. Again, things can change in a hurry, and there are some mitigating factors for that that have limited the development of some of those waves coming off the African coastline. We'll hope it stays that way, but I would gather at some point in September, things are going to start to pick up. Also, now we jump over to the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii just had Hone come nearby, and that just stayed south of the island. But now we've got two more storms, Hurricane Gilma and Tropical Storm Hector and Gilma is projected to go right over the island chain, depending on what strength that is. That could be uh, not a great situation for them. We'll be keeping an eye on it here in the Weather Center for sure. Tonight, 65 degrees, partly cloudy. Uh, there could be a little bit of patchy fog out there, but a nice night overall. A little bit muggier than yesterday, though, so could need those ACs. A very warm and humid day tomorrow with a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. Thursday and Friday, generally sun and clouds and much, much cooler. Very noticeably so and much drier and less humid. Saturday and Sunday, we'll see again, partly sunny skies. We will see that front coming through. I think the best chance right now, probably late Saturday night into early Sunday, and then that front should clear things out. I think Labor Day is probably your best bet of the three day weekend, and it will do, uh, be turning a little bit cooler behind that front again. Every time we get these shots of uh, cooler air, Alyssa, behind these cold fronts, you can kind of feel that fall feel in the air.